Hey, what's up everybody? Um, before we jump in here, just a little context on what I'm doing. Now that voice AI is becoming more of this popular topic, I figured I would give you a head start on getting your systems developed and understanding where the market is at. So I am the co-founder of Ebra AI Agency and owner of Infinite Official Consulting, where we consult on AI solutions and system implementation. I have been building conversational AI workflows for six months and I've trained thousands of AI assistants at this point and worked with dozens of companies in the conversational voice AI space. I've seen the ins and outs of these systems and I figured I would go ahead and show you a workflow. So just to give you a, a wrap up of what we're gonna walk through here real quick is I'll show you how to trigger a call with a go high level form. I'll show you the actual workflow that we're using to trigger the call. I will show you how that call is being made inside of make, you know, to send a request. We will look at the transcript post call request. Actually, I'll also show you how we're setting up the agents to make the calls. The post call request to transcribe or parse the, the, the conversation with a transcript uh, so that you can actually trigger actions after the call has ended to go back to go high level and send text messages for links or to actually book appointments automatically. It is a very thorough system and we'll just kind of jump in and walk through it. This is just a piece of our greater a customer engagement system. So we use voice AI assistance, but it's part of a, a broader system of customer engagement. So we use AI for lead generation. This is AI ad campaigns and automated email campaigns to get interest in the first place. So a cold campaign would look like generating the leads, building a lead list, goes into an automated campaign where people opt in. And if they don't opt in, obviously there's no outcome and we just put them back into the system. If they do opt in, that's when we actually start using the AI for outbound campaigns. So when somebody wants to learn more about your product or your service, we then use the AI to start reaching out. What we've found is opted in leads are converting way quicker with AI calling and inbound customer support is a huge use case as well. Cold calling with AI is still a thing. However, with the compliance laws that got updated on February 2nd, we don't necessarily recommend you cold call consumers with AI, but you can still talk to businesses. Just don't be scammy. As, as long as you are careful with where you're getting your leads and make sure that you're following compliance and, and the current laws, you should be okay. But we have a whole system to develop your traction from uh, completely cold leads to, you know, appointments being booked all automatically. Uh, full follow-up system. So if somebody, you know, doesn't actually end up meeting with you, we continue to follow up with them with AI and get them back in front of you. Once you have a new customer, your new customers are onboarded. We then generate reviews and referrals to feed back into the system. Again, all using AI. Now you see the context of where voice AI fits into a greater picture. Let's actually walk through this go high level setup here. So I'm actually just going to put in some of my information real quick. Oh, eight, three, four, eight, six, six. Website is .ai. So I'm submitting the form. Awesome. Iva is going to give me a call here in a moment. There we go. Hello. Hey there. This is Iva, your intelligent voice assistant. Are you ready to experience the future? Yes, I am. I'm super excited, Iva. Can you tell me a bit more? love to tell you more. Before we dive in, may I ask for your name, please? Yeah, my name and is Trey John. What's the name of your company? I work at Ebra AI. I'm the co-founder. Nice to meet you, Trey John. Uber.ai sounds like an innovative company. So what specifically are you looking to learn about AI solutions today? Are you interested in AI ad creation, automated email campaigns? Well, actually, I really just wanted to do out? a bit of a demo and show people how uh, you can carry a conversation and the broader workflows to be able to manage your conversational flow and Absolutely. actually put it into Absolutely. use. Trey John. That's fantastic, Trey John. It's great to hear that you're interested in demonstrating the conversational capabilities of AI. Our platform offers AI voice assistance for personalized communication via text, phone calls, and web browsers. 
It's designed to revolutionize customer interactions and enhance customer service. I'll send you a link to our demo page so you can explore the potential of AI solutions cool. for customer engagement. Yeah, go ahead and send me that link. That's pretty dope. I appreciate it. You got it. Trey John. I'll send the link right over. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Let's keep the conversation going. Oh, actually, real quick. Can you just tell me some use cases for the voice assistance? What do you think would be the best? Use cases for the voice assistant. Well, voice assistants can be used for customer support, appointment scheduling, lead generation, and even database reactivation. The possibilities are endless, really. I'll be sure to include more details in the link I send you. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Ivan. I'll catch you later. Bye. So you see the form was submitted. The webhook fired to actually trigger the call. This is where the webhook was caught. We fired the, the actual call here, you know, calling an assistant. And then this is the, the prompt for the assistant as well as some additional functions and such. I won't go into that too much right now. Then the webhook is caught here after the call is over. The transcript gets pushed into a GPT to parse it. We update the contacts inside of Go High Level. We then parse for a specific call outcome. This is what's actually allowing the text message to be sent. Let me just go ahead and show you that I just got a text message as well. So this is the text message. It says, hey, thanks for your interest in Ebra AI. Uh, here's a link to our platform demo page. Hello, which is pretty awesome. Okay, and at that point, we have our routers. Again, she just sent me a link to the demo page. And now my contact is stored back inside of Go High Level. So when somebody fills out this form, a contact is created and their contact is updated with the transcript from the conversation. So let me go ahead and show you inside of Go High Level where my contact has been updated. And we have done this with thousands of calls at this point. So it is very thoroughly tested and that is how I was able to build out such a system. Um, hundreds of clients have gotten this. Yeah, as you can see, I've, I've did, done several demos today and these are the text messages that just came through. And here is the call transcript. Let me go ahead and, yep. All right, this is the conversation we just had. As you can see, this is what we were just talking about. Awesome. So you, you get a good understanding of how the overall system works. Uh, we also have pipelines to be able to track customers throughout this journey. So if you want to see, you know, when people called in and if it's a current customer who it, or, or a current lead who needs to have an appointment booked, you can track all of those pipelines and we have them mapped to uh, specific stages of the workflow. So let me just go ahead and actually show you that too since we're here and I'm just going to show you everything. The whole goal is to make this AI easy and accessible. So I, I want you to kind of have a, the full breakdown of, of what we're working with. So. This is our pipeline tracking system for outbound calls and it is extensive. So as you can see, oh, this is actually one of my outdated ones, but you still get the, the gist. This is a five day calling campaign to, to continue to follow up with uh, any sort of prospect or lead. You know, once they opt in to learn more, you just want to keep calling them and, and get in front of them. Uh, I'd actually like to show you the more updated one. I believe it may be this one. Uh, I must be in the wrong account, but you get the point. We have full system set up to do complete automated follow-up, uh, multi-day call campaigns. We like to integrate these things with our ad campaigns and our email campaigns and conversion rates are freaking awesome. Ton of fun working with these assistants. Again, we're thousands of hours into this game and six months deep on conversational voice AI specifically. We have tested every solution at this point. Um, for transparency, I am a license holder of Air AI, a strategic partner with Simple Talk AI, and my preferred favorite, again, is the relationship I have with Vapi AI. But we have tested solutions like Voizier, Talk, 
Synth Flow, Bland, Toma. I know all of them. I've tried all of them, spent hours with each of them, and I have narrowed it down to the top three and decided to pursue relationships with those providers as well as with the rest of the systems. So if you need to know what's going on in the voice AI market, please let us know. I would love to sit down and, and chat with you, whether you're a enterprise level company and need some consulting on the direction to head, or you are a brand new startup looking to scale quickly, or you're an AI enthusiast, entrepreneur, or want to be expert, we would love to help you get your foot in the door in the AI uh, conversational voice AI market, you know? It's a, it's a ton of fun here, and we have a lot of insights. I'm actually the co-administrator of the AI Marketing Mastermind Group, where 16 established companies in the AI space actually come together weekly to share our insights and, and help support each other as we continue to make uh, waves in, in this market. We are the pioneers, and we're always excited to work with other 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 folks who, who, who want to make a wave and continue to support the entire community. We're all about making AI easy and accessible, and we really care about the value that we're providing to the end user. We want the people speaking to these AI systems or experiencing our AI systems to get the most out of it, and, and that's why we're really happy to share the community. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and find my email. It's Trejon at ibra.ai. That's T R E J O N at I B R dot I B R A dot A I. You can find me. My schedule somewhere. I'm, you know, I'm pretty packed, but we'll we'll squeeze you in and I and I'm excited to, to get to know you. Kind of just put this video together real quick, not super polished, but I appreciate your time and I hope this was valuable. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and subscribe, follow, like, whatever. Reach out. We're friends now. Let's have a good community. And you know, have some fun. All right. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm excited to share. We'll see you guys. Bye.